Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about some easy ways to keep your precious car from being stolen. Now various cars have various anti-theft devices on it. This is an old 26 year old Toyota. And the only anti-theft device is the key. <laughs> That's it. Just the plain key. You can see there's no chip in it. And the key goes into a locking steering column. That's it. If somebody broke that, they could hot wire it and steal the car if they really wanted to. But a cheap and easy way for any old or new car is just take out any important relay. This relay is for the fuel injection system of the car. If you really don't want your car stolen, you can just pop the hood. And when you zoom in here, you just pull it out. Then the fuel injection system won't work. You don't know what goes where on the bottom. It shows you what each thing works. You want to take off the fuel injection or the ignition system relay. Now some guys will pull out a fuel pump fuse or a fuse. Any thief could easily pop the hood and see all oh, the fuses just missing. Put another fuse in and drive away. Odds against a thief having a fuel injection or an ignition system relay for your car lying around are slim to none. So if you pull it out, they're never going to get the car going. I could not get this Toyota running without this fuel injection relay. And I don't carry one, so I couldn't steal it myself. Then when you want it to run, you just plug it back in, put the top back on. Very simple and easy to do. Now I know a lot of guys talk about kill switch. Oh, I'll put a kill switch in the car, then I just have to flip it before I get out of the car. You go ahead and do that if you want. I used to have one under here, but let's face it. Thieves know this all the time and they're going to look for a little switch to flip. So it's best to just take out one of the relays. They're never going to have another relay for it, so they can't steal your car. And of course, use your head when you park your car. My old Salco, it's in the driveway behind the fence. And then there's other cars parked behind that. Nobody's going to be stealing this thing. It'd be too much work. The whole thing about having your car stolen is you want to make it the most work possible for anyone to steal. So always park in a place where it's going to be bigger hassle to steal. You're downtown or something, if there's a police station, park right next to it. Who's going to steal a car in front of the police station? <laughs> Now more modern cars, like this 2007 Matrix, a chip built inside that without this chip, you can't get the car started. For my money, these are the best systems at all because with these immobilizer systems, you have to have a key that's cut to open the car, to unlock the steering column, but you also have to have the immobilizer chip that will allow the car to run. So even if you went to some sleazy restaurant that has valet parking and a guy makes a clay impression of your key and then has the key copied, the only thing he's going to be able to do is to get into the car, turn the key, but the car will not start. Even I as a mechanic could not start one of these cars that has an immobilizer chip unless I have the same key with the same immobilizer chip trying to start it. My wife's 18 year old Lexus has the same system. So immobilized system as far as I'm concerned is the best system ever made. You need both a cut key and a computer chip in order to start the car. But then they came out with the keyless systems where you don't have a key, it's all done with signals. That was actually a step backwards as far as I'm concerned. Because these broadcast the signal that unlocks the car, knows the keys inside and all you do is push the push button to start it. They can easily be hijacked into in most cars. As an example, this fancy scanner I have, it just doesn't scan, it also does key systems, keyless ignition systems. Let's say I was a sleazy criminal. I could buy a blank for very little money on eBay. And with this machine, if I got into the car, I could reprogram that blank to start the car and drive away with it. And sure, that's a lot of work, but people have been stealing cars that way. The more modern cars, they're finally realizing, oh gee, we kind of screwed up there. So on the really modern ones, after you start the car, drive it around and stop it and turn it off, they got a special button after you lock it that turns the system off. It won't work until that key is brought in and you turn the system back on. That's a better design. Now I'm sure somebody who really wants to steal your car is going to figure out some kind of scanner that's going to collect that information so that they'll have a machine that when they come up they'll just have a button to push to turn the system back on. Me, I'm happy with a simple immobilizer key. They have to have the key to unlock it and it has to have the chip to start the car. Keyless ignition system, all modern, but all that modern crap is just leading to problems now. Now, of course, if you're really worried and you got a really expensive car, sure, you can buy a low jack system to tell you where the car is when it's stolen. But for most people, 
You want to just do some simple things like I've shown so no one's going to steal your car. Don't let anyone have your car for any period of time with your key. Make another key. Once they have that key, they can copy that key. You don't want to let anybody have your key for any length of time. And in that respect, if you're leaving your cars many hours or days or even weeks somewhere, if they're parking your car somewhere, you demand to get the key back before you leave. Now when you come back, you bring the key. Don't leave it there with them for any extended period of time. If I've had customers have cars stolen. I get a call from their insurance company. They say, well, you were the last guy to work on a car, you, and then I explain who I am. But they got a check because they realized the last person who worked on the car could easily have gone to a locksmith and have a copy made. But still, as I showed earlier, even with a modern car, when you're getting out of the car, pop the hood, take out the fuel injection relay or the ignition system relay, then nobody can steal the car. It doesn't matter what kind of computers they have to try to start your car. Without that relay in there, the vehicle is not going to start. So it's a simple, easy way to keep it from stealing your car. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, Remember to ring that bell.